Hello, welcome back to Adventures in Rod Building. In this episode 16, I will be installing grips and a reel seat on a fishing rod. All right, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like. All right, so this is what the rod blank looked like before I sanded it down. Uh, this is a South Bend Mirage. Okay, so now this is the same rod after I sanded it down and applied some rod varnish to it. Uh, you'll see that at the butt end of the, of the rod, and at the connection where the two pieces come together, I didn't put the um, varnish. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm getting the components ready to um, mark the, the rod blank, uh, making sure that the reel seat fits onto the tenon of the, the rear uh, grip. And I'm just lining up the, the, different, the foregrip and the reel seat along with the butt cap. Um, I already had pre-reamed these out at this point so everything is fitting nice and snug uh, so then I uh, marked the rod blank with the, the wax pencil uh, first start with the rear tenon um, where it would come in contact with the reel seat and then I marked the front side of the reel seat and then lay down the foregrip and then I marked the top end of the foregrip So what I'm doing now is reaming out the rear grip. Uh, like I said, I already pre-reamed most of this, so I'm just going through the motions to show you how you do it. Um, you ream the, the rear grip from the back side where it would be on the butt end of the rod. And All right, so now what I'm doing is I'm taking the, the rear grip and sliding it down the rod blank. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't go all the way down, uh, not as far as I want it to. So then um, I cut away and ream it out a little bit and then come back. And then now it's to the point where I need it to be. So I need to make sure that the butt cap fits in, in nice and snug on it, which it does at this point. All right, so now at this point, I'm ready to... Uh, apply the glue to the rod blank for the grips. I uh, use a two-part uh, pro paste. Um, it's really, you just need a 50-50 mix. So I'm not really uh, making any measurements here. I'm just making sure that I have the same of, of both parts. Uh, just make sure that it, it mixes really well here in the cup. Uh, mix it until it's pretty uh, consistently, um, has the same consistency throughout of it. Uh, it takes probably about a minute to two minutes, depending on how much you have here. So um, once I do that, then I'll be able to uh, apply it to the rod blank itself. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm applying the glue to the area uh, behind the, the first mark. Uh, this is for the, the rear grip. I don't want to put it in front of the, in front of the mark at all. Uh, not at this point. So then what I do is I put the, the grip on and as I'm pulling it down the rod blank, I twist it so that the glue gets uh, in all the little crevices and everything in the foam. Um, so I get it to the end here, and I'm going to push it a little bit past the end because of the butt cap. Uh, so then with the, the glue that's extending here, I want to put it inside the, the rod blank. So then when I put the butt cap on, it'll be glued inside the blank itself. So what I'm doing now is I'm setting up the the rear grip and I'm putting some tape on it so the glue doesn't get on the grip itself when I'm adding the the real seat. Um, if you get glue on the, the the grip itself, it's 
kind of a pain in the butt to get rid of. Uh, so what I'm doing now is I'm just checking to make sure that the real seat still fits right. And then what I need to do is I need to set up my tape arbor where I just use some masking tape and put it in the, uh, apply it to the rod blank in between the, the mark where I have the top of the real seat and the, the rear blank itself. I want to make sure that it's snug and level. So what I do is I test it several times and add tape as needed. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm getting the, the real seat section set up with glue. Um, I make sure that I, again, keep it inside the, the mark there I have for the top of the real seat, uh, covering the, the tape arbor as well as the, the blank rod, the, the rod blank itself. Um, you don't have to really worry about t putting too much on here because um, it'll, it'll squeeze out if you have any extra. Um, so I'm just making sure it's covered pretty well in, in all the sections. Then once I get uh, all the glue added, then I'll slide down the real seat and do the, the same approach I did with the, the rear uh, grip. I'll twist it down as I'm coming down, coming down the rod blank, and then I'll get a uh, another stick and make sure that the excess glue doesn't get on the real seat, and then just apply it back to the rod blank itself. So what I'm doing now is I'm applying glue to the front side of the real seat where the foregrip's going to be. Uh, same thing as before, keep it inside the mark from where I uh, marked the, the top of the, the foregrip. Um, any excess glue that you have here from the foregrip will slide underneath the real seat there. Um, that also will help with any uh, glue that you may have missed when you added the real seat. Okay, so now I'm just adding the foregrip, uh, twisting as I go down, and uh, you'll see the buildup of glue again. Take another uh, popsicle stick and uh, get rid of any excess and apply it to the rod blank there in that section that is between the foregrip and the rail seat itself. So what I'm doing now is I'm adding the glue for at the top of the foregrip that's used for the winding check. Uh, it's just a little piece of rubber that's there to, for the transition from the grip to the blank itself. Um, this is really messy because glue just gets everywhere. Uh, so what I do is I just slide the, the winding check down and then um, push it as close to the foregrip as I can. Then I just take a paper towel with a little bit of alcohol on it to get rid of the excess. Um, once I'm done this, uh, make sure everything's uh, all as, as tight as it can get in the different sections here at the winding check and the grips and the rail seats. And then I wipe down any uh, glue that may have seeped out during the process. 
Uh, once I'm done gluing, what I do is then stand the rod up uh, on the on the butt cap there. Um, if if you tend to lay it horizontally, it can shift and. Okay, so that wraps it up here for episode 16 of installing the rod grips and rail seat.